It was an unusual and complicated rescue that took nearly two hours. A city bus launched on top of a pickup truck with a driver trapped underneath. CTV's Nadia Matos has the dramatic story. Nadia, have police charged the driver? Well, police tell us they're still conducting their investigation. And if there are charges, they'll be laid when it's complete. Pinned underneath the city bus, a pickup truck. Inside that truck, a woman who police say was driving down the wrong way, down a one-way street, when her vehicle collided with the bus. There's no stop sign here posted, and uh, and at this point, we're not sure why the truck and was traveling the wrong way on this street and or why it continued through the intersection at this point. The collision happened shortly after 9 a.m. Sunday morning. I thought it was a train accident. And then when I went around the corner, I seen the bus on the car, uh, on the truck. John Woods was the only passenger inside the bus at the time of the crash. She took down the one-way street. We, we, didn't, we didn't have a chance because she was going so fast. A, a bus driver hit the truck. And when we hit the truck, the truck ended up way over there. The force of the impact caused the bus to ramp on top of the truck. The woman inside was trapped for nearly two hours while first responders and tow truck drivers stabilized the bus with jacks and a hoist. All the paramedics and everything did a great job. It took a long time to get the person out. We're thankful for the timely care provided by our first responders at yesterday's accident. We wish those involved in the collision a speedy and full recovery. The Minister of Transportation has been called in to assist. Police say they'll be looking at the mechanics of both vehicles. Both drivers were taken to hospital. The bus driver hit his head, got 10 stitches and has since been released and is recovering. As for the truck driver... God bless the lady that's driving the truck. She was airlifted to Hamilton General Hospital. But as of right now, police say they don't have an update on her condition. Police say between the two vehicles, the damage estimate sits at approximately seventy to eighty thousand dollars. Nancy. Oh, wow. Thanks, Nadia.